This video is adopted from Rise Up Society Network, RUSN, a Kenyan nonprofit organization founded by Dr. Jim DeRucci that focuses on treating and preventing jigger infestations in impoverished rural communities. They provide free jigger removal, hygiene education, and basic necessities to prevent reinfestation, while also raising global awareness through social media, especially YouTube, to generate support and donations. The histopathology of the most jiggered man in 2025 reveals a devastating and widespread infestation by Tunga penetrans jigger flea, resulting in profound tissue destruction, inflammatory responses, and severe structural abnormalities. Whoa! Gross examination shows large, ulcerative lesions, necrotic patches, crusted nodules, and hyperkeratotic plaques with severely thickened, cracked skin predominantly affecting the feet, toes, soles, heels, and occasionally extended to the hands, elbows, knees, and buttocks. Ah, the affected regions are grossly deformed, with some toes appearing disfigured, swollen, and partially amputated due to chronic inflammation and secondary infections. Areas of purulent discharge, bleeding, and foul-smelling necrotic tissue are evident, indicating bacterial superinfections from pathogens like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. Can you imagine that? Microscopic examination reveals severe epidermal changes, including hyperkeratosis, parakeratosis, and marked acanthosis. The dermis shows a massive inflammatory response characterized by granulomatous inflammation with macrophages, epithelioid cells, and multinucleated giant cells surrounding the embedded fleas. You see, the most striking feature is the presence of mature, gravid female tunga penetrans fleas, identifiable by their chitinous exoskeletons and engorged abdomens packed with thousands of eggs. These parasites are encased within inflammatory infiltrates, predominantly composed of lymphocytes, plasma cells, eosinophils, and neutrophils actively responding to the ongoing tissue invasion. Surrounding tissues show microabscesses filled with pus, indicating bacterial colonization and recurrent infections. Whoa! Think about that for a second. Fibrosis and collagen deposition are evident in chronic lesions as the body attempts to repair damaged tissues. Pretty cool, huh? Angiogenesis, or new blood vessel formation, is prominent in areas of prolonged inflammation, contributing to the reddish, swollen appearance of the affected areas. Now, here's the most exciting part. The presence of vasculitis or inflammation of blood vessels, along with nerve damage resulting from perineural inflammation, signifies the progression of the disease from localized tissue damage to systemic involvement. The nerve damage can cause intense pain, altered sensation, or complete loss of feeling in certain areas, complicating the patient's ability to walk or use their hands effectively. And here's something to think about. Special staining techniques including hematoxylin and eosin h &E, periodic acid shift PAS, and GIMSA, are employed to enhance the visualization of parasite structures, inflammatory cells, and damaged tissue architecture. The PAS stain highlights the chitinous exoskeleton of the fleas, while GIMSA staining reveals inflammatory cells and parasitic bodies in greater detail. In some regions, calcification of dead parasites and surrounding tissues could be observed, indicating chronicity, and failed immune responses to